What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the internet. I'll be your host, Internet Jones. We're doing a vintage cube draft today. Look at these stamps that that I got from the post office. Oh my god, I just disappeared. The whole thing disappears. They're very cute. They're puppies and kitties. Anyway. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Cityscape leveler, huh? That's a fascinating gentleman. Why is it lagging so much? What is going on? <laughs> okay, I guess it just needed to load all, all the all the things into the memory. Merktide Regent is fascinating. Benzer is fascinating. I'm not gonna take a brain freeze. <laughs> Look at these stamps. See you later. Also, we're still doing our HelloFresh promotion. So if you guys haven't signed up, definitely consider doing so. You get eight, no, 21 free meals across your first eight deliveries, which is a great deal. Uh, you also get free shipping. And uh, I get a pretty sweet kickback if you guys sign up. So definitely consider that if you want to support the stream. Uh, we'll just make this guy. This guy's cool. I'm going to take it. So here we, here we are. Uh, additionally, me and Katie ordered six meals. They got here today, and they only cost like 28 bucks. So honestly, $28 for six meals, it's pretty good. And they're high quality. It's actually good ingredients, great produce, great meats, things like that. So really, I don't know. You got nothing to lose, really. You're going to be eating anyway. You're eating, right? You're already eating. So you just, just order some food and, and help me out and get a good deal and support the stream, you know? Uh, I think it's to new subs only. But maybe it would work if you use a different email address. I don't know. I guess, maybe it depends on how old your subscription was. I think it's to new users only. But I don't know. I don't know. A lot of you're asking me a lot of questions here. I'll take Ancestral Vision. It says draw three cards. Like, come on, what are you gonna do? Not draw three cards? Hmm. You know what? Right now I'm in, I'm in a mox diamond mood. I would take this Rafellos, but I feel like we've leaned so also a Ragavan in here. I, I literally didn't recognize this because it had the, the old border, and that's just not a card that exists in real life. There is no Ragavan with a retro frame. <laughs> so, you know, that's cool. That being said, I don't feel like it goes very well with these. But God, he's so good, isn't he? I'm gonna go with the Mox Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take Ragavan. I don't want to be in a deck that has that that that's a Ragavan deck. You know what I mean? Does, does this make sense what I'm saying? Like it can be good, but that doesn't mean I want to play it. I kind of like this Ulmog. I don't know what we're doing, but having this guy and this guy make me feel good. Kind of like busting, you know. Plus they're both colorless, you know. You get it? You get what I'm saying? You feel me? And there's nothing good in this pack. So I'm gonna take Spellseeker. And we're really just kind of we're kind of just doing something different here, you know? Maybe we're artifacts, who knows? Maybe Duretti's who you want to be. Maybe a little Orzlov signet makes you feel good, you know? Who knows? Who can say? <sighs> uh, let's just take Vendillion Click. Vendillion Click is a nice safe pick. Okay, so Sphinx of the Steel Wind is interesting. I'm kind of feeling like a tinker might be up our up our street. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. What's this guy even saying, dude? Hellbreaker Horror? You're a nice uh, fat wind condition that doesn't actually care about artifacts. Jockle hops? Sure, I'll hops. Is it just scrub land? I think it's just scrub land for safety. Sure, I'll take a dual land. Plus, if that um, if that Orzhov Signet comes back, I doubt it will. But, you know, just in case, maybe. You never know. I could just take Fatal Push. Maybe a Scarab God comes back. Scarab God and uh, Orzhov Signet are, are the, the cards we're looking for here.
Hey, upgrade your Strem on Bandlink. Seems good. Solid suggestion. Who can argue with that English too? So, a lot of white cards here. So the Scarab God did not come back, nor did the Orzov Signet, you see. Could take a Tundra here. Could take an Archon of Cruelty. What are these What are these fat creatures doing for us right now? We can reanimate this guy, right? We can reanimate this. I would like to, I personally would like to hear more. I am fascinated and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. Is this a reanimate deck? It feels like it could be with a spell seeker. Let's take Archon of Cruelty under the assumption that we're going to get really sweet reanimate cards. He said overly optimistic. I think it's Riftwing Cloudskate here. That card's good. Okay, we're still not seeing those reanimate cards, but they're in here. I was told they were in here. And we're just gonna have to wait for them. But there's nothing nothing great in blue here. Thassa's Oracle's cute, not really for me. Ophiomancer is neat. Could take the Golos. Let's take the Golos and hedge on that guy. Again, more artifacts. Seems good. Super Fritz might enjoy that. Oh, a reanimate? Okay. See, this is kind of what we're looking for here. Although I do like Liliana. I do like Flooded Strand. I do like Metamorph. But I like reanimate because we got Sphinx, Cityscape, and Archon right now. <sighs> Shallow Grave's not my favorite. If we have like an Emrakul, it's good. I guess with Ulamog it might be fine, but I'm almost like more tempted to take Narset. There's just a lot of cards that go well with the Narset. And we open, uh, we can take Dark Depths as well. Um, And there is, there was a Vampire Hex Mage in our first pack. We could also take Bone Shards because we're trying to discard cards to reanimate. There's actually a decent number of picks in here. Also, Shallow Grave with Archon of Cruelty is, is still pretty good. I'll take the Shallow Grave. I've, I've convinced myself. Uh, and for the same reason I take Bone Shards, we're definitely taking Charter Course. That's an easy pick. Uh, Riffling, you can go here. Uh, I don't think we're playing Yorion currently. Although, we do have a stip in the queue that says, play all of your cards. And I think... Hold on one second. So we can take a look at that. Whoop. Yeah, I think for that step, playing your getting your round would be great because then you just get to <laughs> play all, all the cards. Um Ledger Shredder actually seems pretty good, right? He just lets you loot. Yeah, that's cool. That's what we want to do. I guess this guy's the only card we'd consider playing. There's nothing. Well, that's an unexciting pack. I guess I'll just take Minds of Desire, <laughs> you know, for fun. None of these are very good. Sure, whatever. Um, just take Winds of Abandon. It's a card we can splash. Wow, that's a late coma. And I'm almost tempted to play it just for the reanimation. I mean, it's obviously better than the other cards, so. Why is my sound still on? Get out of here. See Chrome Coast? Again, helps with the splash. Fatal Push can obviously go in the deck now. Let's take Lion's Eye Diamond. We have Mind's Desire. What could go wrong? We could just 
pivot into a storm deck. Still no power. <laughs> Good grief, man. Also, if we had uh, blue-black lands for every blue-white land, that would be significantly better. I think it's just preordain, which is kind of unexciting. Scalding Turn does not get a black source. Yeah, I guess we'll just take preordain. Just powerless, you know? We also have Spellseeker and, like, not great targets for it. Might even say mediocre targets. Kaito Shizuki does let you discard, and it's a three minute planeswalker. I think that's just fine. I'm okay with it. Demir Signet. Oh, I like a time warp. Just just for just for just for having it, you know. We did not take Narset, so Echo is less appealing. I think we're just taking Time Warp. We have no fixing mana. That's hilarious to me. Like not in a good way. I mean, ideally, we only have, like, three black cards we're trying to cast. Plus, we have a Mox Diamond, so I guess that's something. Might just be this Karn. We have not that many artifacts, but still, he's decent. I was so excited because I was like, there's so many lands, there's got to be a blue-black one. Just kidding. Sheldock Isle seems good for this deck. We have a lot of things we could hit that are nice. Wow, that is a late Urza and a late library. We're going to take the Urza. Because again, I think it's good with all this top end stuff that we can randomly hit. <sighs> I kind of like Grave Titan here, but do we need a Grave Titan? Probably not. We can put this guy in the sideboard for now. We don't need to be looking at it. Everyone loves Probe. I'm not a Probe guy. I, I don't care about it. Maybe it's good. Fudge. I think we just have enough top end that I'm just like, I think I just want to take the probe. And I, I just want to see what it's all about. I want to see how the other the other half lives, you know? Uh, Glenn is pretty good. Let's take a Glenn. Upheaval and Opposition both came back. Good lord. These, these kids nowadays have no respect for these... These old-timey, late 90s, early 2000s rares, you know? Uh, nothing in here is great. I'll take a Fire Blast so it doesn't kill me. A Dam, a Shriek Maw, a Sword of Feast and Famine. See, like, even having, like, two reanimate spells is just not the best. Eh, I'll take a Shriek Maw. Eh, I'll take a Tezzeret. Eh, what can you do? So, we need one cut, and I'm just thinking it's probably going to be... Woe Strider. Oh, look at Bayou. <laughs> that is a late Bayou. That is a dis disrespectfully late Leovold. <clears throat> I mean, between Sheldock, Urza, and the two reanimate spells, I feel like we're actually looking decent for, for these guys. And this is a fine 23, I think. So, you know. 
that's how we're gonna do it, I guess. We'll go Sheldock and <laughs> all basics. <laughs> I guess we'll go nine six, which is really ten six. No, that doesn't. Oh, you're oh, cause you're adding this ten seven seems fine. Uh, yeah, I can definitely see splashing and also tundra too. Uh, we can go oh scrubland rather scrubland instead of that, and sea chrome because we do have sphinx of the steel wind that we can just play. And we also have Mox Diamond. Hmm. Unseen Spectre. And what up, Temple VR? Wait, wait, I actually, no joke, owe you some money. What? <laughs> Is that right? Where else? What up, buddy? I don't think you owe me money. Didn't you? I think you tweeted at me about this, and I, I meant to respond, and I totally forgot. Does that sound correct? We're gonna be shredding. I can't imagine what the, the Red Bubble Shop has sold. That sounds hilarious to me. I wanna sh oh, I should've just killed this and suspended this. I was so distracted by chat. I was like, this is my, this is my, I'm on a, a course, you know? I guess I can just do it next turn, right? And they've already invested too. So, I mean, you're like, oh, maybe I just want to kill that, actually. That card's pretty scary. I don't know if you've heard of that guy before. Get in there, you little bird. Illusions donate GG. That name sounds really familiar. Who is that? Oh, you got a Gruul Signet. Okay, this is... Well, when you go Eternal Witness into Hex Drinker again, I really have to find a way. You <laughs> That shouldn't have been as funny as it was. That was pretty good. What is this? Oh, I see. Well then. Oh, uh, God. I kind of want to discard this, but God, we can probably just cast it at some point, right? Next turn we can Golos. Yeah, sure. Discard that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, these go away forever, so that's good, I guess. I guess we need to bring in Shriek Maw here. You know, because that's cool. Does it go off next turn, right? No, two turns? Oh, God, that's like forever. That's forever. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's get a Shelly. Cool. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> oh, wow. So what's going to happen is we're going to top deck uh, something ridiculous here. What do you think it's going to be? Let's, let's see if we can guess. Ulamog, I guess. Yeah, we're probably going to top deck Ulamog. Because that would be one card outside of the Sheldock Isles reach. Top deck land is good, actually. Sphinx does a real good job against the red-green deck. I mean, but 
my theory is we're going to top deck Ulamog and never hit another land. Or another, yeah, we're never going to hit another land. Did you just say, are this still? I have no idea what that means, I think. Oh, good. Wonderful. This is a card from our hand, sure. Well, that is more complicated. Good theory, lots of previous events to back it up, yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Fucking eight drop. Eight drop. So if they don't block, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Uh, so I guess we can do this. Well, are this step our problem? Good question. Great question. Uh, I've already taken a bunch of donate steps, so if you guys want to submit something. Cast it. Hullbreaker Horror and an Island. Honestly, I don't think either of these do anything for me. We'll just hit another land here. Oh, Riftwing Cloudscape. What do you do? Three, four, five, six, seven. We can deal seven to Karn. No, we can't. Because we have to actually tap a bunch of things to, to do that. That's unfortunate. Little Mog. Ready? Cool. <laughs> he always calls it. How does he do it? Nobody knows. Okie dokie. I mean, it's got to be Little Mog, right? Let's be, let's be serious. This guy comes down. I feel like we just bounced this guy. Have you considered calling it on cards that you actually need? No, that would be ridiculous. You sound like a crazy person. See, comically here, I still only have seven lands, so I still have to hit one more land. Can my Stimpy co-stream? Yeah, kind of. I guess so. We'd have to figure out a way to set that up, though. I did it with, with Kerwit. Let me guess. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. See, that's when I'm like, okay, we're done here. Are we done here? I have five mana. Yeah, we're done here. What can I get? No, nothing? Mountain? Sure. He said mountain. It was a swamp. He's not even playing green cards. Or, Wow, this is terrible. It's like I'm having a, it's having, it's like I'm having a stroke in real time. You guys are getting to watch. Uh, <laughs> good times. I wonder if now nah, people probably is not great here. Did somebody spell burning? I will keep this hand. I'm also going to hold on to this. There's nothing we need to really know about unless we have a reactive card, right? Like, and then we can just go Cloud Skate on two. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Beautiful. So beautiful. 
is my soaring into mana vault. So now I can play my seven drop on turn two, but it's not going to be a seven drop. It's only going to be a primeval Titan. So then I feel bad because I did not get uh, the full mana value of my mana. Oh, just a Duretti. That's interesting. Fascinating. Hydroid Crassus Mirror Battle Sphere. Let's top deck a reanimate to get that battle sphere back. That'd be cool. That's that's not that's not it. Okay. <laughs> it's discard leveler. Uh let me get a peek at you. Pest endurance. Okay. And still no land. Sounds good. We've just looked four cards deep. No third land. See, this is what happens if I ever call a card that I want or need. I literally get the exact opposite, which is an eight drop. So, so I can only call the bad cards. That's my power. My power is calling the worst possible thing that will happen. And then it happens. Yeah. Hey, look at that. We got a swamp. Wonderful. Uh, what can we do against this? Probably nothing. So match two. I'm having a good time. Who loves the vintage cube? I mean, it's fine. I feel like this deck is very, it's, it's not broken. It's kind of middle of the road. We can do some stuff, but I feel like the pieces are a lot, it, it, there's a lot more pieces that have to come together. Yeah, okay. This seems fine. Turn two cloudy. Like, we don't have any any good acceleration. We don't have any power. We don't have any of the, like... It feels like a... It feels like we're playing standard, and I'm playing with an event deck. Like, a, a pre-constructed event deck. Which are usually kind of decent. But they're not standard decks. You know what I mean? Maybe don't call your own... I, I me, me not calling it will not affect the demise... Fatal push. Nope. Okay. A drop sounds good. I'm I'm only predicting the future. I'm not creating the future. You understand? It's already written because of the simulation. You see. This card's unbelievable. Go ahead, play my Ulamog. Well, I'm actually okay with not drawing that, I guess. So you kind of helped me out a little bit. You got it. Fashion with a leak to the party, I see. I think it's just Ledger Shredder because I kind of don't want this guy to run rough shot over me. But that, that just means they're going to kill this, so... I am dead inside. Fantastic. Just like kind of would have liked that, maybe. Let's just play Urza next turn. Okay, they have two cards in hand. One card after this, I assume. Sure. This is not the worst, I guess, but... God, not being able to do anything here is pretty brutal. Uh, I guess Hullbreaker Horror is fine. Wow. There's a lot of things here. 
I'm starting to feel like the Shriek Moss should just be in the main deck. On the bright side, every time they connect with, with Ragavan, we get uh, one closer to Sheldock Isling. <laughs> so that's the dream, right? Are we just dead to this? Uh, four, four, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we're just dead to this, right? Maybe not. I guess we get a blocker. What do I know? But what's our plan after that, right? Like, well, you take a one step at a time. This might be a very quick draft. So two fours, a two, and they're probably going to pump the Ragavan to get through. Yeah, okay. So we can just block the Construct. Now we got to block both, I guess. Or else we die. Yeah, we're just going to scoop here. We don't really have anything. Ragavan's going to hit... Oh, come on. Jesus fucking Christ. I really can't just draw a card. Like, that, that doesn't work. Ah, fix your program, man. It's it's only been I guess I guess it's only been twenty three years since Magic Online has been around, so you know. Still early in development. Expecting to quote unquote draw a card after the match is probably a bit much to ask for. Let's take out the Woolamog. Okay. Against this deck, we're definitely not going to probe for two life. That's just not. It's just not where I want to be. Ooh, is it Cityscape Leveler or is it Time Warp? Probably Leveler, right? That was a good that was a good little hit there. Play this guy. Also, Kaito not being able to be attacked is nice. So we can actually go negative two. He's safe, plus one. Oh, fascinating. Hey, and they didn't do the thing. The thing being mana tithe. It's funny that you use the term sprints there. It makes me wonder if you're in the tech industry. Hmm. Well, let's just get in there. Free card. Another free card. And that's what we're going to play. What do you got here? Time Walk, Lorian, Wrath of God. Lauren, not Lorian. Time walk's good. You don't have a... You do have a blue. Definitely blocking. I'd rather have one activation of Glenn and a Planeswalker. Yep, sounds good. So you did time walk, you played this, and these are the four cards remaining. Sounds good. 
I might even just chump block here. Actually, I probably will because it's... Eh. We know they have Wandering Emperor here. They play planes, sure. So if we block, next turn we can play Golos. Yeah, this seems fine. God, Lauren kills Golos though, that's pretty sad. That card's good. They just didn't play anything. I guess they have Wandering Emperor as an incident. Is this done yet? Thank God. Main. So they can make a guy. We're going to play Golos. Then they can kill Golos. Yeah, I'm just going to attack with this guy. I do want to block her for the wandering one if they like make a creature instead. Might as well get scrubble up a ding dong. <laughs> so now they're going to go Wandering Emperor EOT. On their turn, they're going to play Lauren, kill Golos. Yep. Make a guy. Make the guy a 3 3, so we have to chump. Wait, what did they do? Interesting. Sure. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this does die to a Lauren, which is unfortunate. Man, this is where having the Ulamog in the deck would be great. Um, Shallow Grave Golos is the only thing. Let's just draw a card here. It gives us one more activation of Kaito next turn and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're two cards away from activating Shelldog, which is great. So we can actually activate it next turn if we activate Kaito. So that's interesting. <laughs> that's, so, um, let's put ourselves within reach.
Wow, this is fascinating. Okay, let's get rid of this. Cast. Get rid of you. Seriously? You can counter this? Four mana. Foff. <laughs> oh, Gadogi. Um. Ragavan, blue mana by itself, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so you kept the Ragavan and the blue mana. Got it. Look at this beautiful bad boy. And then we want to go... We know the... Do this. Suspend this. Oh yeah, that's an easy discard. Um, but we could just keep it in hand, right? We could also just draw the card, so. To reveal the top dose. Got a Vendillion click and a swamp. I assume you'll give us the swamp. Which I think we'll play. I'm glad I got to sit in. I know the job market says trash, but something. Dude, nature's a nature's little treasure, buddy. I, I'm glad to see you. It was wonderful. Oh, they're just going to dash this guy. Okay. I'm actually tempted to bring back Golos here just to get another land and uh, not give them an extra card. Because we know th three of their four cards. Three of their five cards, I guess. Did they play an island? Oh, they did. So we actually know one of their four cards. That's what I meant to say. Like, just being able to get rid of this guy takes a surprising amount of... Oh, what? Hmm, fascinating. Okay. You got it. God, that would have been great to draw. That's obnoxious. That's frustrating. Uh, we could not hard cast Sphinx last turn. I'd rather cast Karn, and we know they have Lauren of the Third Path, so I'd rather them get rid of that with the Lauren, and then we can cast Sphinx. Six, seven, eight, nine. So this is eight. So Lauren's gone. You have Ragavan. I think we're just going to get the Vendillion click because I want to see what they have. Ragavan Coercive Portal. Coercive Portal is actually kind of obnoxious. Drawing Thank two cards you. a turn is not really ideal, and we don't really have a great way to deal with it. Longtime fan, short time Sabagel. 
subage. <laughs> it looked like an L. I was like, oh, it's a bagel. Uh, bittersweet to see you back on here, Steak. Oh, really appreciate it, Andy Bay. Thank you for saying so, dude. Thank you for the support as well. Really appreciate the sub. And I'm going to get rid of the course of Portal because I don't like you. Well, that's fascinating. Um, I guess we'll get rid of Mox Diamond here. So we know your hand is Ragavan, Savai Triome, random card, random card. So I'm pretty sure I just block here. The Vendelian Click dies. We shallow grave the Vendelian Click and we get to look at their hand again. So if they have any like cute plays they want to do, like we just get to eat whatever. Oh yeah. No, that's great. You can have all that nonsense. So you have Caracas Island Savai Triome Ragavan. Got it. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go Sphinx of the Steel Wind and put a car put make a Karnstruct. Yep, cycled Savai Triome. Played Caracas. They returned Lauren to kill the construct. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, so now we're gonna Hallbreaker Horror instead. Ooh, preordain, eh? Hmm. I'm almost tempted to do nothing because we can actually. Hullbreaker Horror and then Preordain to get that, get that juicy trigger. Make a ninja. Uh, I'm going to just create a token here because we do have Ancestral coming off next turn. And I don't want to die. No, I don't want to die. We could also uh, unearth Leveler if we thought about it. I think you can only do it as a sorcery, right? I guess Michael doesn't know. Uh, unearth is sorcery only, yes. You still have it unearthed. Start playing standard 2,000 years ago. Was that when the great texts were written? Yeah. Makes the sense. Great text of Cruel Ultimatum and Bloodbird Elf. And Cruel Ultimatum was a good card. What was that demon that was really popular that brought itself back in its copies? Brought itself back in its copies? Yeah, and if you were a spike you could, and a jerk, you could trick people when they try to counter it oh demigod of revenge yes that was my yeah you're, they're like oh i'll counter it and you're like okay I'll, now i'll put the the sure. copies on and you're like come on dude that's such a messed up thing to peek that one kid that nobody liked you know you know the one i won't say his name but god i don't nate cater no <laughs> you literally why you literally said that guy's name i was talking about the the, the will guy he doesn't really play anymore he used to be friends as hell oh yeah 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 that definitely is uh Friends is loose, but, you know. 
I think it was Wilson. It was Wilson, yeah. He was pretty good at the game, but not a very good excuse. Do I have a way to deal with that? I don't think so. Put one serving of mango in this, for the record. It's banging. Return spelling of return turn. No, I'm permanent two times hand. It's a messed up card. You're right. You I mean, I don't think. Still messed up. You cannot use a power stone to cast your Lauren. We're reading the card. Come on, buddy. But they're just treasures. But why wouldn't they just call them treasures? No non artifact spells. That's right there, buddy. There you go. And he still has the one floating from the. Yeah. Oh, that's actually pretty gross to be able to bounce that and quick. Yeah, quickly. she's legendary. Legendary. You know that one from uh from Hearthstone? Yeah, I know that one. It's old enough for me to know that one. It's from the you know, the only time I played. Okay, so they have one card. Oh yeah, we're just uh, we're just hull breaking. It's me to answer. They're basically just dead. It's not legendary either, which is pretty sick here. Actually, I'm glad it's not legendary. That would be the most annoying commander ever. <laughs> oh, we get to cast this and get the get the perk of it. That's pretty seven, disgusting. eight, nine. Oh, so this is just lethal. We just preordain an ancestral, bounce both their threats, and kill them. Yeah, that sounds good. That's how we do it in the in the professional league. Should really say, say like the spell, spell you cast has to cost more than I don't know one mana. <laughs> no, bro. What are you insane? It costs seven though. Like it's not like it's. Yeah. It's I not a free not, meal, bro. You gotta pay for it. Seven mana is a joke. Not that I think it should be banned. I just think it's very strong. It's broken. Uh, I will put reanimate. And then I'll put that on the bottom because I don't care enough. But, you know, in case they have some shenanigans here. As their one last card that deals with the Hullbreaker. And, of course, they do. This is very strange. Say what? Say what? <laughs> so there's... Oh, I guess we get to eat it? I don't know. That's weird. Good grief. I guess like one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. We should have also... God, we should have got back the Cityscape Thank Leveler, you. man. Jiggity Jaws with the gifted subs. I appreciate you. They go to one? Thank you. That's that's fascinating. What can we reanimate? Oh my god, Jiggity Jaws. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you. Really appreciate it. So, like, nothing really great, right? Thank you. We have seven cards. Like, we just want to survive, you know? I'm just trying to survive here. Thank you. I think you're right, but God, who can tell? You're at 16. 16. You do have a low deck count, but that's Can't it. You know? something of theirs, right? It's any graveyard, yeah. I can do whatever I want. You do that. Also, you get the trigger. Well, you actually don't want to bounce with that. You stupid. It's not a good creature to bounce. Let's just bring some. Yeah, I was hoping I would have like a. Turn turn an island permanent to its owner's hand. Doesn't matter. Wow. You're, You're back. back. I'm back. We're all together. This is fantastic. Everything is happening. Jiggy Just, thank you for the subs, buddy. Stuff too. You, you, could, you could do anything. You can do magic. Do, do, do. I'm just gonna bounce this. You don't have enough mana to replay it unless you wanna activate your mana vault, so. Did I activate both of these? All right, we're good. I mean, this guy's unblockable, so that's pretty good, right? Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good when they're at one. But who knows? I'm no expert, though, you know. You got it. Hmm. I have six, but I have Glenelendra, so that's probably not the best. Are you going to bounce my Urza? A bold strategy. Sure. 
Don't you know when I replay it, I'll get to bounce something else? Whoops, sucker. You're dashing? I'm curious. Try to take us from 12 to 0 on this turn? No, they just want the free card. Mm, no, I don't think we block. Yes, because we have four cards. They're going to take one. Well, I'm like I'm concerned if they hit like ancestral recall if they make us like draw our deck somehow. So then why don't you block? Because well, Lunar has persist, sure. right? Yes, but then they if they cast ancestral on us, puts us to one card, and like if they, I'm just I'm just playing it safe. There's no incentive to blocking here. We take two. Well, I thought blocking was safe because they don't get an extra card from you. But if they have something like Ancestral, I, I, I don't want to like, I don't know. It, it's It made sense in my head. Like, you still have four cards and they couldn't deck you. That's all I meant. Versus three after them. Yeah, scratch your arm. Yes. Keep scratching. Scratch my arm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y'all ever shovel snow? Don't recommend it. It's not very fun. I like Woast Rider instead of Spell Seeker probably. Y'all think this uh, this Mox Diamond will ever have any have any use here? As someone who owned one, I only got to use it like two games ever. You well, can the games you draw magic. late. It's useless. Got a seven and eight drop in the hand. That's pretty good. That being said, this is a pretty good hand to have it in, sort of. Just kidding. Mm, sometimes you don't even know which which to do. Single castable. Fantastic. What discard outlets do we have? Um Kaito Shizuki, Charter Course. Wow, just gonna, just gonna, just gonna course of portal there, huh? Like an absolute maniac. Boy, the discard outlet would be great here, wouldn't it? We could just purposely not play land. I guess. Because you have the mocks to kind of make up for it if you want. I don't know. It's kind of not that great stuff. I just never like doing that because I feel like it. If it doesn't work out, it puts you so far behind. Yeah. Also, if it's not. Like it's not like we have a tart like Gristle Brand where it's like, okay, this survives the game just over, you know? A tart like Gristle Brand? Mm -hmm. Did you say a tart? It's possible. Okay. What I meant was a target. Like, I feel like if you're going to go for that risky play, that sweet, juicy it better tart. win you the game. I think, our, I, think you're, does, but... I think you're underestimating Archon of Cruelty. Well, you have to sacrifice the Shell Grave, right, though? It's only a one shot? Yes, but you're still getting two triggers. Yeah, plus they, they get dome for six. So they get dome for 12. That's pretty decent. Well, plus they're taking three and three. Oh, so yeah, the 12. You're right. Yeah. But you're also drawing two cards. They're sacking two creatures. Quick math. <laughs> I can tell because of your big brain. Yeah. Oh, it's not a phase, Mom. It's a cl classic. Clip. Oh, wow. That is a classic. Wait, can you still do clips or is it still? Yeah, you can up? still do clips. What does that even mean? Well, before you have trouble like, showing the it. Yeah, I didn't have trouble showing it. It's just it went to my other desktop. Oh, that was fun. Mom, um, <laughs> <laughs> look now. <laughs> it's not a phase, mom. <laughs> you just said it so defiantly, as if you were gonna say it to your actual. Well, they're gonna they're gonna pick shallow grave. You guys ready? Sometimes you just know, like, the draft. You, you just know it's not going to go. It's not going to go the way you want it to go, you know? You know pick, right? Like, you pick Time Warp, it's like, okay, well, we don't have the lands anyway, so. Yeah. Oh, look, they picked that. I wish they. I wish we had Eureka in this deck. Not very cash money of you. This is a hell of a Eureka hand. That was pretty sick. Despite your hate of it, I even take a show and tell here. You know what? <laughs> Me too. One time deal, show and tell. No more. Show up. You know we don't have it. 
I mean, if I just draw a bunch of lands, we're good to go. We Gucci. This wouldn't be happening if you had red. Hmm. I can't. Okay. Okay, buddy. Can't guarantee it'll spike our viewership, but I, I did let the the commander boys know that we're streaming, so might get a couple. You mean like two in a group? No, we got like ten in there. In your in your group chat? Yeah. Wow, that thing is full. It's not always active, like you know. That's a lot of people. I had I had no idea. It's mostly me and John who are the the big chatters. Oh, and Mike L. Yeah, I was thinking like Mark Mike Larson seems like he would be too. Yeah, we're chatty boys. Well, we're going to bounce your coercive. Look, they have just as many cards as we do. We both got six cards in hand now. Oh, and Mike D, but I can't remember his Twitch username, so. Is Mike's lady friend in the chat? Yeah, is Bortina in the chat, Michael? I, I, I don't control her, you know. You don't have to control her to know if she's in the chat. Well, you have the chat power. I can't see. I don't know who's in there. I'm talking about your group chat. Oh, that chat. Mm. No. Because she. Unless, unless Kurt meant Ava. Which she is not. <laughs> which, is, which is Mike's wife. Uh, That's my wife. They didn't give me fatal oh, wow. punch. Uh, it's actually, I was like, that John guy should, never shuts up. And then I read the username. I'm like, a oh, classic. A little self gotty. Oh, what up? JTHD. Boy. What does JTHD stand for? What is the T? I, I'm assuming it's John something HD. That's my assumption. I don't remember what it is. I guess I can look. What is this? Is this a Sprite? No, it's the the Mountain Dew. Uh... So you got a McDonald's cup and you put Mountain Dew in it and then you added mango to it. Well, the, it was finished. There was no more soda left. I poured it out. I just figured why waste a cup, you know? Michael God is dead. His last name starts with a W, so actually I don't know. Yeah, right. I know. I didn't know that offhand, so. John T. High Definition. <laughs> <laughs> well i'm pretty sure courage is a shortening of your name right your real name yes it's gotta be what it is right it, yes okay All right. it's gotta be what it is right it said. could it mean something oh, so else you know he didn't say uh, uh, there was no question mark i added one yeah you see you just read what you want to read sometimes and then not exactly but everyone else is left to pick up the pieces <sighs> come on clean up I had to spend all my mentor energy at my job. You know? Your mentor energy? Yeah, see, see? Is that the energy you use to it's mentor all gone. people? And then I'm just, you know. <laughs> I two, have to be really four, professional five, six, for seven, eight three. hours in a row or more. It's very tough for me. So after I play these four, I'm going to have to discard like two cards, I guess. Johnny the homicidal, hom homicidal drummer. Hashkulashi used to call me oh, when wow. we were in high school. Oh, I forgot you guys were schoolmates wow what a what a johnny the homicidal maniac throwback that is that is quite the throwback that reminds Pretty me epic. of my hot topic days in like 2000 although technically a, a mutual is a is a spin on an old school high school nickname so He looks more of the boys are showing up. There's my Larson. <laughs> Dude, hitting the shallow grave with elite spellbinder was probably the best thing they could have done. Spellbinder, is that what it's called? It's gotta be right. Spellbinder de Rosa. What? Oh yeah, I get it. Yeah. I was like, that's pretty good. Like, come on, you gotta Oh. I forgot Mike Digits is still in the chat. Just don't annoy me, or I'll block you. And don't call me. Call me, you're dead to me. Yeah, don't call people, man. That's not that's not okay. It's text only. No one needs to be. Do you still get charged like ten cents per per text? I don't know, do we? <laughs> I might go have some bad news for you. Your bill's gonna be a hundred extra dollars this month. God, what do I even want? Next turn, I'm on a shallow grave. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe I'll keep this guy? I don't know, dude. What was I chatting with the other day? Was it your daddy? Yeah. Oh, 
relax and Sam was texting me about HelloFresh. I guess we'll do a Vendillion here, click. I don't think, but. Wow. So in our Sheldock Isle hit so far, it's been seven lands, one Vendillion click. Which is not really that strong of a hit. No. I guess if you can surprise them and oh wait. See, I thought it was I thought it was the other fairy, like Glenn. Which would actually be kind of sick if you surprise them with a counter spell, but it's not. It's not as sick. And I guess if you bounce something in your hand and you know you have to get rid of it, it'd be sick. But that seems like a lot of things have to go right for that to be awesome. Is that what your dad did? He knew he had to get rid of it? Yeah. So he left? Rest in peace, Golos. I miss you. Where's he going? I should just make a rule zero deck and just ask if people are okay with it because I really like him. Wait, where's Golos going? Oh, he's banning Commander. No, why did you say that right there, though? I was just looking at him in your hand. It had nothing to do with I was just looking at him. <laughs> fondly. Okay. Well, at least, at least that's not weird at all, so. Not even a little. No. Not even once. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Elspeth is a, is, a, is a strong card. You know, if they don't happen to have Mana Tithe, we might be okay here. Do they don't have a land? So they think they're going to easily Spellbinder hit Mox Diamond here. So we can't Shallow Grave. That's what I would do. <laughs> but wouldn't Sylvan not be able to do it? What? Because Mox Diamond requires a land, so you need... Does it make it two extra or three extra? Two extra. Okay. Now I understand. I thought it was three for some reason. Oh, yeah. So I, I would have to play the land to Mox Diamond? No. I'm assuming I'm going to draw a land. That's that's the whole thing, though. That's my assumption. You could take. You could also take, like, Karn. That doesn't do anything. Kaido here, because you're like you're guaranteed to potentially play that. Yeah, but I'm at nine. Like, yeah, this is exactly this is the correct play. You're probably just gonna buy Die to the Fly Boys. Draw a lot of cards, though. That's that's pretty sick. I mean, without playing anything, we take seven next turn. So. Frank, you open in a pizza shop called Old Italian. It's good. Is it? Why is it? What's it? Why is it good? Because it's like Italian, but you spell it I Italian. But what's good about it? It's just a good name. It exists. It is a name. But I I wonder what makes it good. Because it's like you're making a pizza shop. It's like old school Italian style, and you're calling it old Italian, but you're spelling it weird to keep it hip and fresh. Like an old Italian restaurant. But that's not how old Italian restaurants spell it. Right, but that's to make it funny. <laughs> Look, man, I didn't make the joke, okay? So I I'm just get, reading it. I get it. I get what the joke is doing. Mm -hmm. But to say it like, oh, that's good. To, to say it that way, it implies that it's doing something very specific. Like... It, it implies that it's like a reference to something or that it's like, like that. It's just like, it's got this thing. It's got this panache that like, for, but it's like, it's just a literal play on words. Right. It's not like it's. Yeah. Right. I didn't think it was that impressive. It was just, I liked it. Just take it easy. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Your mic wire makes it look like you have like a little cool thing on your shirt. It's red. I do. I wish I was drawing cards this turn. Beauty is in the eye of the Italian. Wow, that's pretty good. Oh no. Oh no. Time I'm out. I mean, it's not impossible, right? Your health, probably not, but. Mana Tithe! Never don't have it, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> this still has two left? How does this still have two? I feel like it was 20 turns ago, man. New Frankie's old Italian dookie bread. Well, you know, I don't know if that would sell as well. Whether they misplayed or not, it's probably not going to matter because of our health. Yeah, it's not over yet. But I don't like it. No. Oh, that's rude. Mm -hmm. 
See, it's like if I if I if I created a survival restaurant and I called it the Bear Grills, like you could be like, oh, that's good because it it reference. It's like, oh, hey, that clicks with me and it's hitting this like specific. It's a great reference. That would be good, right? But I, you, you've oversold my hypeness for me liking that. I just thought it was kind of cool. I didn't think it was like super epic, bro. Fascinating. <laughs> Why is that funny? It was though, but <laughs> I don't know either. Oh, fascinating. So they're going to have two minutes on the clock and we're going to go to O2. So if you guys want to subscribe to HelloFresh and support the channel, that is a great way to do so. Katie and I got six meals just today. They arrived today and they were only about $28 total. So about $5 a meal. Uh, I get an awesome kickback from HelloFresh. So if you want to support the channel and get some free food while doing it, uh, that's a great way to do it. The food isn't free, but it's like, if you were going to support the channel, you're also getting free food, right? So definitely consider signing up to HelloFresh. You can use the promo code up above. Uh, you get eight, no, 21 free meals over the first eight deliveries. Uh, you also get free shipping. So be sure to check that out. It's a, it's a really good deal. Even if you, honestly, you could cancel after the first or second delivery. If you don't end up liking it, totally fine. But, um, you know, it is a good deal. And you should definitely consider trying it, especially if you want to support the channel. I would appreciate it a ton, especially right now as I'm losing all these matches with my somewhat mediocre deck. No joke, HelloFresh is so good. My wife is making a HelloFresh meal now. See, I, I've actually had a ton of people who be like, I would love to help you, but I actually get HelloFresh already. So I'm actually kind of surprised that only like five people have signed up because A, it's a really good deal. B, people have to eat. They're eating anyway. You're going to eat anyway. And no. C, like... Tons of people have already said that it's like really good, uh, including myself, because we've ordered it multiple times. Right, like you guys had it way before you ever got this endorsement. And yeah, it was like we had it back at the Aurora House even. Yes. That was like two years ago. It's nice because like it kind of solves the like what's for dinner without paying. Because like even Dude, if you have Dash Pass like us, it's still super expensive to, to order out. Even yeah, it's like $50 this. a meal. Whereas right. like HelloFresh is literally 10 bucks for, for two meals. So like for two people. And for me... I'll be lucky if it's just 50 bucks for myself usually, so. That's true. Michael gets like $80 of sushi. It's kind of wild. That's on the low end, if we're being honest. That is why I only get sushi like once a month yeah. at, at most, because I can't help myself. Yeah, like me and Katie will be out of town, and Michael will be like, guys, I went a little crazy on the <laughs> sushi tonight. And I'll check the DoorDash, and it'll be like $85, and I'm like, oh, for DoorDash? Some of those restaurants, they upcharge you so much on the items, like, my Wingstop order on DoorDash, like with tax and tip and everything, costs like close to 40 bucks. That's insane. But when I pick it up, it was 26. It was like literally ha almost half. Yes. HelloFresh, much cheaper. Agreed. Plus, like, dude, I know I hate going to the store because I'm like, okay, I got to get cilantro for this. Wait, I need two little cilantro leaves, but I have to buy the whole thing and then throw the rest out. Like HelloFresh portions everything out so you get exactly as much you need. Yeah, but I'm not going to use it again. Right. So I'm, I'm, I won't throw it out. I'll put it in the drawer. And then four weeks later, I'll be like, oh, yeah, this cilantro that's all slimy or and gross now. You keep it and you're like, no, I'm going to use it. But then you've pressured yourself into using the cilantro. Even yeah, if you I didn't want need to. it. Like we had garlic last over. And I was like, I'm going to use this. But I'm just like never got around to it because I'm just like, I don't know what I want to do with that. Even though you can put garlic in anything, but whatever. The point stands. Can you put it in me? A little too hot for this hour, you know? <laughs> like today i wanted to go pick up like chicken thighs and chicken breasts to make like a big batch of uh marinated chicken and then like make meals out of it and make a buffalo sauce but i was just like i just don't feel like doing it so i didn't i know that feeling because i'm like not only do you have to do this sh like there's so many times where i'll go shopping i'll go grocery shopping because i'm like oh i want this meal but when i'm done grocery shopping Very i end exhausted. up ordering yeah. food mm -hmm. because i'm like i don't want to make it tonight man i just did like two hours of grocery shopping yep. i just put everything away like that's not fun. Like, ideally, I would do that. But, like, yesterday I worked out twice. Probably not the greatest idea to work out almost three hours in one day. Um, and then I shoveled snow that same day. And I shoveled snow today. So, pretty spent on doing things at this point, you know. <laughs> the last thing I want to do is stand in the kitchen for, like, two hours and cook. Like, it's just... I like cooking, but, like, I want to actually not be exhausted when I'm doing it. Yeah, like, Jesus, unless you're, like, going really on? efficient at cooking, like, chef level, like, it's just going to take you a long time. Like, I always watch those, uh, Josh Weissman and that other, uh, Eric guy, whoever his name is. Still not Eric, still Ethan. Ethan. Um, 
they both have a series. I mean, a lot of the cooking guys do this, where it's like, can they make the fast food faster than the than the place they order? Like yeah. they order it and then they make it. But like, and he sends like his brother to go pick up right. the item from like Taco Bell, and he sees if he can make it faster than it takes his brother to like pick it up. Which wait they in the can, line. but I guarantee you cannot. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm just, it's just it's just a matter of proficiency. Like I'm not proficient enough like with knife skills and or like and like, you know the yeah, the order of operations. Yeah, exactly. And there's going to be like someone in the chat like, well, I can do it. And it's like, that's great for you, but I don't think most people can. Now I'm hungry. Perfect. Order some HelloFresh. Ready to go. Okay, so we need one more land and we can play a thing. Our opponent has nine mana sitting here. So maybe they'll do something eventually. Who knows? Exactly. I don't know. This card will be a lot more... Uh, this is in my cube, right? I don't even know if I want this in my cube. Should be. It's insane. What? It's is it really? It's absolutely bananas bonkers. I, I don't know about that, man. Like it's only good. Is when it unlimited search or is it just instant sorcery? Was the I know it's not anything, but it's instant or sorcery value two or less. Okay, so there's a um. So actually, you might be right to not necessarily get it because it's really good if you have a combo chain for it, but you have to let it dedicate a lot of space for that. I think it's really good if you get either ancestral recall or time walk. If you can get two of those, you're great. It's a great card. But like paying three mana in Vintage Cube to go get like a chart chart of course, or well, you can also get like Shallow Grave or, or yeah. Anything. I guess it's good if you have like combo pieces. I think you you just you could go through your list of instant sorceries that equal the standards, and then if it's worth it, then put it in. If not, you get great removal with it. I mean, it's I mean getting like a path. I think it's it's very versatile. It is in your list. I guess yeah, it's in here. I think it's good enough. Why is an Aether Channeler in this cube? Second, uh, it's the three mana two one from Dominaria Remastered. You get to choose one, you either make a bird, you return a permanent to its owner's hand, or you draw a card. Oh, so that's like the black one, but way better. Yeah, Empire. it's like Callous Blood Mage, but it does like one more thing, and it's just for I always wanted to shove him into the uh, shove him in, Michael. <laughs> the Edric list, or not Edric. Wait, do you Edric? think they have a counter spell since they haven't Edric. played anything with five, 11 mana and they're sitting on five cards? If they don't. I I would be shocked. Let's see what and their let's even. see what their modes are for Mystic Confluence. I bet they counter it and yeah, then they draw don't have three two. blue, so it's probably Whoa. No. Interesting. So That's you're not nice. countering and you're also not what is going on? Yeah. You know I should blue just like Golos. I should have him as a rule zero, and then if the table doesn't agree, I can swap him out for a different five color commander. That's a good idea. I should do that. Yeah, you can just have like uh backup. Carthalion. Oh good, you're gonna entomb. Carthalion? Yeah, Jared Carthline, Michael. Oh. What are you, stupid? I didn't... Yeah, no, I I literally have him built, so that could be the easy swap out. That guy's cool. Although he's very specific. So. That guy's in my cube. He's very good when you hit. So good is two-headed Kelkite. Actually, that guy doesn't even need to hit. You just draw two cards and you send yeah. that guy sideways. I mean, he has haste. If he and he has have, menace. If he didn't have haste, he would suck, but the fact that his haste is awesome. Oh, you sound like a hater. Yeah, that's true, because then you can just kill him. Right. What did they entomb? An island? What is happening right now? What is going on? Wait, did they entomb an island? Yes. It's got to be a misclick, right? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Maybe he's got a um, Graveland Storm. You know, the the mechanic that definitely exists. Time Twister. Did you just want to thin your deck? I'm so but, legitimately but confused. Because you're just shuffling it in, so it doesn't... That's true, right? You're not thinning anything. That's really weird. What understand. is going on? I'm so confused. Like, if it was Wheel of Fortune, I'd be like, oh, okay, that makes sense because you don't want to draw it again. Or, no, even that, yeah, you don't want to draw it, right? You don't want to draw the extra island, but. Also, can you believe how expensive Time Twister is for such a mid tier power card? It's not mid tier, it's top tier. You ever played Commander, Michael? <laughs> That's the only reason why. Yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the only power legal in Commander, so. It's weird, too, because it's only played. In the niche version of the formats, like the more high end or competitive. And even then, a lot of people just can't afford that bitch. Maybe they're just like shuffling on Moto, you know? Oh my god. Oh, good. This, this, this old chestnut. What? It, Wait, what? You're just gonna play Sneak Attack, but then not do anything with it? Also, Jared's so strong, I played in a pod where there was all real decks. And I crushed. More like Time Waster. Got him. I don't know what's going on. This hand is terrible, unfortunately. 
Let me see what you've got in your one, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna take two, dude. I got nothing to. Hey, what are you, a coward? Let me some. Are you a man or a mouse? Yes. Smart. Thank you. Mystical tutor. It's so you're gonna put something. <laughs> I guess you're giving us more information. We don't get to take it from you, bro. Like, we well, just we don't get any more info. We're gonna see this whether they play it or whether we look at their hand. No, it just seems like a weird. I agree with response. you. Response. It doesn't really. Do I anything. I think a lot of people are on autopilot and they're like, "You're gonna do a thing in response. I'll do this." Yes, it's like even though you cracked your fetch line, <laughs> I'll crack mine. Boo. And it's like it's just this like really weird instinctual psychological response that people do on complete autopilot because it feels right. I guess he's going to time spiral and try to hit a sneak attack target would be. So he's on sneaky sneaks. Got it. So your hand is Island in Tomb Again and Imperial Seal. Interesting. Tomb Again? What does that card do? <laughs> you Entomb a second time. There's one mana just double Entomb. That'd be pretty strong. So they're going to probably untap Grim Monolith. That doesn't make any sense. You just literally... Do that. I, <laughs> you tapped. I know. Okay. I know. You nuts. Oh, you can bounce there. Oh yeah, that guy can bounce anything. Yeah. Even a bird. Even a boat. <laughs> yeah, bouncing the sneak attack makes it a lot harder. Well. Well, then he has to play it and play, time spiral. Still can do it, I think. Right with the stupid mana vault. Maybe. Stupid mana vault. Maybe not. Bitch. Well, wow, Michael, you're really aggressive right now. Stupid man of all. <laughs> it's better to force him to do it. Well, this hand is kind of poo poo anyway, so. But you get to 11 mana. Nice. We will not, but if you did. You know, in the future. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> Making your way in the world today takes every Michael B. I'm gonna pet Hunty, but then he'll get up and he'll be all crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have 11 mana. They can do it, but it gives them four less, you know, so. Time Spiral doesn't actually cost anything as long as you can play it, so. Tell me more about Time Spiral. No, you have Hmm. That's fair. You haven't earned it. What's the most you've ever lost on a coin toss? So, Entomb, Imperial Seal. Did they play the island? Yes, they did. Three health and Magic of the Gathering. So, this is your hand, That's huh? about it. That's not true. I think one time I did flip a coin for a soda, and I lost. Fascinating. Crazy kids with their coin tossing. Show down a lot. Wouldn't you like As we watched Mandy last night, it's a crazy film. What a wild ride. Very intense. It is weird, though. But good. Crazy, evil. Jesus freaks. <laughs> Oh, good. They're gonna I think my favorite quote is, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to do it because it would be obnoxious. That bathroom scene was fantastic. Or he yeah, just lost pretty his... good. Oh, good. Fantastic. Joke's on us. They play zero creatures and just gaslight people into conceding. Smart. Discard card. Uh, discard sphincter. Probably could have just cast that. Who knows? Do you think I remember someone once playing a blue-white control deck in standard and I don't know if it, I don't think it was a known deck but it literally had no win conditions oh that's interesting this says flash because of the shell dock aisle so that's really kind of nice to know that it's got, it's got split second, second now actually oh wow oh look they have a second sneak attack flash plus splash what is this gonna be they don't he can still not kill your golos here right because it is a creature you know it is an artifact yeah they can't but I don't know what that matters Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty smart. You're going to kill this, but I'm just going to activate it. That's weird. You're weird. Because it forces you, but I don't know if that's really that strong. You silly goose. 
I guess we sort of lose out on Flash here, but... I think we're still dead, right? No, we get an elephant, I guess. I could just block this. Take six, seven, eight, nine. It ain't got trample. I don't know why, but it don't got trample. Maybe it's best that it doesn't have trample. These guys are just going to the, sh the shitter afterwards, so... Shitter. You know, the old the old trash can, you know? Is that guy trigger when he leaves, too, or just when he enters? Just the... when he enters. What are you even saying? You think no, the other guy. No, no, my God. It's only when he attacks or comes into play. Yeah, it's when he attacks, leaves, or comes into play. He gets three triggers off of it. Magic cards are crazy these days, man. I don't know. I was building an all-creatures deck once in Commander, and I used to think, that's probably going to be too weak. But now I'm like, it's probably just going to be real good. It's nice that Terastinon doesn't have Trample, though. Because now I'm just in a nice, healthy six life, and I got a Hellbreaker Horror. Hellbreaker? Hellbreaker. And now they're just going to kill it, though, right? Are they going to kill it? Hellbreaker. It's Hellbreaker. Hellbreaker. It's the word I'm saying. You said Hell. I said Hull, but all right. Cecilian. What are they animating? Valid. My Sphinx? <sighs> you know what, That's man? just rude. I should have right? kept it. I was stupid. I, I shouldn't have thrown it. I could just cast it next turn. You got a Path to Exile on this deck? Got a Fatal Push. Does that count? Oh, I just bounce it with the Hullbreaker Horror. What are they? That's terrible. Sometimes you forget, you know? Oh, God, please go off this turn. Because I just want the free spell to bounce my own guy so that I can play it. No. Okay. Well, maybe next time. In your face. That was in my face. I mean, I still think we're in pretty, pretty good shape here. Return in permanence. The Frankie's hand he wants his guy back. Yeah, the fact that it's any spell is pretty disgusting. Also, uh, is Mox Amber in this vintage cube? Who's Amber? Is that your girlfriend? It's a combo piece of Hope Retreat. No, Michael, nobody's playing Mox Amber. Don't be ridiculous. It'd be, real good, yes. be a lot cooler if they did. Even Luke did it. That's their board. I'm just getting probe here. <laughs> Where did your elephants go today? Oh, do they just I just they just added it here? That's weird. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So seal, time spiral, and tomb are all gone. So you have island, swamp swamp, days, and wheel of fortune. Fascinating. Sometimes all events go on a country ride track to get revenge on somebody. You hear about that? I think you sound like a maniac right now. There's a real story of an elephant getting revenge on somebody, finding where they live and killing them. Like Mandy? Yeah, kind of. Did the elephant build his own axe in a forge? No, I just used its massive body to <laughs> kill them. That sounds good, too. I got a coal breaker. I'm going to get you. Oh, it's super fritz time. Do you think they're going to do you think they're going to wheel a fortune? I bet they will. It'd probably be good. Be a lot cooler if they did. I don't think it would be for us. Oh. For them, sad. yes. Us, mm. Okay, that was your draw. That's good to know. That's, that don't impress me they much. played a Badlands. I assume they're just going to Wheel of Fortune here. You know what they say about assumptions? What do they say? Asses. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about the asses. Okay. Wheel of fish. Remember Wheel of Fish? Yes. Oh, what a reference. I didn't remember it till just now, but it was good. I feel like Time Spiral is a pretty strong draw here. Draw? I mean warp. Oh, good. They hit another big fat idiot that I'm going to have to deal with. I guess we go to one. Could be worse, I guess. I mean, if they had anything else, we'd be dead. So that's that's cool that we're not. Eh? You know what? That is cool. What? 
What's going on? Are you okay? Uh, so I, I trapped air in my throat somehow and it made me almost throw up. Um, <laughs> when it leaves, it gets the ding a thing again, which is pretty annoying. When it leaves, it gets the hose again. Yeah, that. All right, what's Ashen Rider taking with it, you think? Diamond? It's like your best land, kind of? Yeah. Yeah. Shine bright like a diamond. Oh, I forgot I still had this thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, this old chestnut. I guess we'll draw a million. Four, five, six, seven. Of course, they took away my... Brand. They took away my brand, yes. <laughs> you give me my brand. I'm still in the upkeep. Thankfully, our opponent has five minutes less than we do, so that's still nice. three lands away from playing Omar. Brutal. Well, I guess technically... We can play the other guy, though. We have seven mana. You got anything like kill sneak attack? That'd be pretty good. We can play Glen to block here and Kaito, but I, I kind of want to get rid of this Jace, to be quite honest with you. I mean, he draws the more sneak attack thing, so yeah, I think he should. Let's do one of these jobbies. Wait, anyone can discard to Una, right? So it's a discard element for us, too? Yes. Okay. It's pretty, pretty sick. Nasty, bro. Actually, that is pretty sick, nasty, bruv. We can shallow grave too. Yeah, right? we can. Mm. Well, they can. They get a free sack out of the grim sorta, but we don't get the destroy trigger, which sucks. What? I'm just gonna put Ulamog into play and make them annihilate. Yeah, but they just. I don't know how relevant that is at this point. What are you saying right now? It doesn't kill enough things to, to like win the game. It does a lot. <laughs> it's, it's probably still the best play. Limits their options at least. What does the other? What does the leveler do? Nothing we care about. Okay. Okay. Oh shit! I did that in my eleven. I could block. We could bounce that guy. So close to them dead. You know. You probably bounce that guy anyway, because it Sorry if you're streaming, I'm drunk. <laughs> oh, I'm drunk and my laptop is a potato. Classic. Good boy. It is a hundred calories for a very small amount of serving. So it's almost like it's pure sugar. 30 milliliters is not a lot. And yet, it's very strong in the flavor department, so I guess it is. I wouldn't know because I'm American. It's like grams. Oh, wait. Americans don't know grams either. Uh, ounces. Oh, God. That'd be impossible to measure. <laughs> One sixteenth millionth of an ounce. Do you think they block Moolah Jog? It'd be pretty wild if they didn't. It would be a bold strategy, if you will. I will. I guess we rift and bounce the sneak attack is the best we can do here. You know, I was thinking that. It cuts them off. Uh, five, six, not much. I mean, yeah. It stops them from doing nonsense like drawing cards and also having sneak attack. Yeah, I still think it's the best. It's the safest play for us. Like, playing goals doesn't do much. Kaido doesn't really do much. Used to draw three cards. So long, Ulamog. It was good seeing you, buddy. More like Shmulamog. We can go get a, our Sheldock Isle again with Golos, so that's kind of cool. That's neat. But also, like, I don't know how much more they can have. Like, Archon, Ashen Rider, uh, Terastodon are all in the graveyard. They keep playing it. And they had an extra red last turn. So if they had another creature last turn, they would have put it into play I presume and killed us so they have to draw that card now they got a Kaito sure yeah so the draw had to be something relevant and it probably has to fly or be unblockable to kill us okay they don't have it right this second so that's good chicken oh. this is a when you cast which is kind of cool I don't even know what it does you don't know what Cityscape Lower does 
Nope. Probably should. Got trample on our other eight mana. Does a lot of things. When you can suspend. Uh, yeah. Destroy up to one target online permanent. Then they make a power stone. When it attacks or when you cast it. Oh, that's right. I remember reading and being like, for one more mana, that's a hell of a lot better than Meteor Golem or whatever it's called. I'm attacking because I'm assuming, perhaps foolishly, that they don't have a flyer with haste. This is when they're like, Thundermall. Even Thundermall Hellkite would tap my guy. Uh, Glorybringer would kill my guy. So a lot of the flyers that I would be scared of here are not going to be held back by a Riftwing Cloudskate. So I guess it's fine. Hmm. Oh wow, this is a lot of just mana. You're just just it also puts them on dead next turn. Okay. If they well, never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> That's just silly of me to assume. <laughs> mm. That's actually fine. None of these things are killing me. Kill it too. Oh wow, our graveyard is empty as empty as all ghetto. Empty oh. is a empty bowl. Empty as an empty bowl. <laughs> I don't really have much there. Jesus, Michael's the one of the you should probably get shelled off. Premier poets of our like generation. Drawing a card. I'm gonna play Glenelendra so I can counter their future spells. I mean, as an artist, you know, sometimes you don't always hit. You know, I understand. This I is a long game. Glen is kind of safe. Big man, you got a new haircut? Putrid imp. That is fascinating. Are you giving somebody a little smooch? <laughs> it sounded like it. I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. You really liked when I did that. <laughs> I was just so excited about your little smooch. <laughs> the timing on that was They were counterspell? Are you joking? They have a mana drain, actually. You have to be joking. I insist. If they daze, I swear to Jesus. It's in the graveyard. Okay. I think they're dead. I think we gained three from this, right? Putting us to four seems nice and nice and healthy. Alright, it doesn't have haste. Did you think it had haste? No, but I thought. For some reason, we shallow graved it, even though that's definitely not what happened. I hope you're going to church tomorrow morning because you need Jesus. No. <laughs> no. This is the worst part about church. Going? That. And they expect you to show up so early. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How many? Ah! Yeah! God, man. Come on, dude. I don't know why they... Maybe they're... Well, they did say they were drunk and playing on potatoes, so that might be why they mana drained. I don't get that now. Dude, I'm, I'm like... I'm, I'm so... Oh, God, this game is like so back and forth, dude. Type. Well, I think they were running Mana Drain into Glen. The Mana Drain doesn't matter. They have infinite mana right now. They have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They have 10 mana. Nothing from Mana Drain matters. They run it into Glen Alendra so that we tap out so that they can resolve Time Twister because their hand was terrible. Like Also, for their deck, it's probably good for them to eventually make you use it. So I mean, I'm fighting over Archon of Cruelty, though, because it's Archon of Cruelty. So, like, I'm always going to take, take my that money. deal. Church, church here. See you bright and early tomorrow at seven thirty a.m. <laughs> you won't. I'll never be there, church. Hey man, text me about giving you a survey. That'll definitely make me do it. Did church just text you? No. Church is giving you a survey. The main is people did. They get they dude. I got it too. I just literally deleted that email. I got four emails being like, "Hey, we fixed your garage door. Can you leave us a review?" And I'm like, "No, dude. I don't care." That makes that. A, I won't do it because that might affect the actual worker. But it does tempt me to leave you a negative review on purpose because you keep bugging me about it. Right. Like, dude, I don't owe you a review. I had a, you were my landlord. You completed my service. Right. I literally asked you to do something. You did it. That's it. That's the end of the transaction. I don't have a job to do afterwards. Also, that one time they showed up without asking and that was pretty sus. So are we being robbed? Yeah. I'm like, 
is someone coming into our home? What's going on? I watched a video of someone playing Skyrim on a small on a smart fridge. Hmm. That's that's pretty amazing, actually. That is pretty cool. That's the world I want to live in. God, what do we do against this deck that draws four billion cards? I wish we took that Narset, you know? We're in it right now, by the way. No. You just have to buy the fridge, but... Maybe you Purple live in emails it. you? Oh, rough. Just hit unsubscribe. I, like, once you hit unsubscribe, like, they won't do it anymore. Can I do that here? Manage your notification preferences. Ooh, that's smart. I might do that. I'm going to be like, please stop asking... Cookies. Those cookies were banging last night. <laughs> Jesus. You're just like one stream of consciousness. <laughs> want a cookie? You need a cookie. Oh, those cookies were good. <laughs> Get some crumble. I don't know if you guys have crumble. It depends on where you live. I don't think they're ever yet, but crumble is uh They're good. They're almost too banging. sweet though, I'll be honest. Spoken like an idiot. I do get what you mean though. There's like not very there's not like a that they're not crispy, subtle, salty. Dude. Yeah, kinda. it's right. It's almost like pure sugar. That's my biggest issue with crumble. And that's why every time I have one, I'm only like, I can have like this little sliver of crumble. Like the cookies like this, and I'm like, mm, I'll have this much. You know, you said 900 calories per cookie, but you're not actually that far off. It's pretty nuts. I think like most of them are 600 cookies or 600, <laughs> 600 calories. God damn, that stream of consciousness. It's not good, man. Looking is a mistake. Uh, da, 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 da. Chocolate chip is 560. That's actually That's less than I one. thought. Oreo yeah. is 720 calories. Oh. Honey bun is only 520. Cool. Raspberry, 480. Oh, healthy. <laughs> Cowboy cookie is 640. I mean, none of those are really good. But I, to be fair, you should not eat one whole cookie at any point. Yeah, I'm not sure I've ever finished a whole they're, crumble cookie they're very big. in a sitting. So. That being said, I did have a half of each of mine last so night. So Michael did so have I, a, one I, and a half, half cookies. cookies. But I was having a, I was having a rough day, you know. No, you weren't. You had a fine day. We watched Mandy, you got wing stop. What you have no, 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 my day. day before that was not fine. God, you're really I was very stressed. It was a very, very busy Friday. And like none of the calls were bad per se, but Who's per se? Still very, friend? <laughs> still very stressful. My new job is a little stressful. I'm just be real. I have to manage that. But it's the it's still the correct choice. I'm not sure I've ever only eaten one. I'm a giant boy. God damn, I can never finish more than one crumble cookie. That's insane. As you a, sound like a maniac. As a fellow giant boy, I can. Bro, you I? gotta arc no. of cruelty one time. Oh god, we're so close. You should definitely not eat more than one. I need another discard out of Michael Stat. What did you just do? No. You can't do the joke thing. Don't do it. Don't do the joke. I could go through my cards, but it's just way too long for that joke. It's a cowboy cookie made with cow chips. Yeah. And there's like there's like ground up pieces of leather in there too. It's really interesting. Couple maggots. They don't have double red. So if we can actually resolve Kaito, activate his ability, next turn we can shallow grave Ulamog. But they could have days. Why'd you say that? Why'd you do that to yourself? Would you like to pay? No, not especially not twice. Thanks for asking me two times. Still be the fucking game. Every time you call it. I don't understand. Like, why can't I just resolve my fucking three mana planeswalker one time? I don't understand. Why is it so hard? Your opponents do seem to be always having it. You know. Well, they have two blue Shut now, up, so now they have money. enough to get through now. Yeah, now they're going to manage rain. Frank's garage door. So some dude just called me asking how I felt on a scale of 1 to 10. I told him to get lost, just so you know. Thanks, garage door. Nice. Smart garage door. Are you ready? M -m -m Mana drain. They were both in my hand. I drew the blue exactly when I needed it. I'm a lucky man. I don't This is terrible, dude. Now they're going to untap and, and cast their big thing. Yep, that, it's going to be wonderful. Yeah, and we're going to die. Yep. Cool. I mean, I'm not going to not play a four drop because they might have mana drain, even though I know they have mana drain because they're playing against me. You know? What the f... What? This is your... Well, they're real fortunate, but they have a bunch of extra mana still, so it's probably going to be still bad. I mean... 
whatever, I guess. I think our hand's better if we don't die. Is it? We got things to do. I got things to, to do see. before. We got preordain. Goals, boy. A couple of Urza, Urza pops. This is not super exciting. A couple Urza of pops. Also, for the record, because it's hard to see on camera, I am also a giant boy. Just I am literally six, almost six, seven. Eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. <laughs> and I currently clock in at 366 pounds. I think it's really cute when Michael expresses his counting skills on the stream, you know? How high can you go, little buddy? I don't know. I never tried. Yeah. Hmm. Fascinating. I'm high in life, man. I get that, man. I get that. Bro, I get it. Okay, so do we Golos or we Urza here? These are the questions. Let's yeah, get a Shelly. Yeah, let's get a Shelly because yeah, Shelly, they're almost... <laughs> I'm not that tall, but I am wider. Respect. <laughs> Personally, I've been trying to get less wide. It's a, it's a, it's a battle. This is fucking unreal. <laughs> hey man, you can get that free spell, dude. Like, it's pretty sick. It's so funny. Like, get that cantrip for your trouble. I get my deck's not great, but having these uphill battles is really like. It's like just insult to injury, I don't think man. It's actually bad. I just think you've been. I think your deck's fine. It just you, your draws have been kind of sus. I think it misses. It's missing key components that would really make it. Yeah, good. it's it's kind of like a dirtle. Here we go. Mishmash of kind of a mid range control deck. It doesn't really have a focus goal. Is the problem? Like me. Okay, they don't get to loot anymore. I guess. Subscribe to HelloFresh, guys. Subscribe. I had a setback, uh, Punky Boyard. I'm not really sure how to say your name, but uh, I had a pretty big setback, grinding my way back down. I mean, you, don't know, you, don't, you don't know how to say Punk Boyardee? Like oh, Chef Boyardee? I didn't really. My, my, my brain didn't do that. But yes, Punk Boyardee. <laughs> my brain didn't so do I, that. I gained back like almost 50 pounds. I lost it all again. And I've been kind of stuck teeter-tattering from between 360 and 70. Teeter tattering? Yeah, I've been like going up and down, up and down, up. Do you mean teeter tottering? Because the no, the... I am a rebel and I say what I want. Do you think when and kids go to the playground me. they play on the teeter tatter? If they're cool, they do. Interesting. It's a thing I invented. <laughs> well, then how would they even know about it? Because it's obviously in their marketplace to buy. Okay, we're an upstart. We're trying our best. <laughs> <laughs> the teeter tatter. I don't know, it's, man. It sings to you. I'll be honest. The teeter tatter does not really. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is just. You ever eaten a teeter totter? You ever eaten a teeter toddler? <laughs> that's worse. Because that's cannibalism, Michael. Frank's curse. Hey, sorry about the bad luck. It's just been so long. I'm really getting back into my groove. Really enjoying. <laughs> really enjoying it. <laughs> I lost seventy, then I gained one twenty-five oh, back. Dang. I guess I'll sack this guy. What card will I discard? I guess I'll get rid of a swamper. Well, hey, man, and if you gain seventy, you can do it again. It happens. Maybe you can. Also, you know, life is what you make it. Be whoever you want to be. Say what you need to say. John Mayer. As uh, the fat man would say, laugh and grow fat, you know? You might want not to do that, though, for your health, but you can. You might what not want to do that? Is that what you said? Something like that. Michael speaks like a true southerner. You might what not want to do that. No. Or wait, you're still pretty skinny. So respect. You lost 80 pounds? That's, that's, a, that's a good amount. It's about how much I've lost. Roughly. They have seven cards in their hand. I would be surprised if we had any, any uh, reasonable way to win this. Or they just never do a little dash on you, you know? They never do a little sneak. Maybe they won't do another. Maybe they. Don't they never sneak. They got nothing, bro. I yeah. You know Probably what? Unlikely, but maybe they'll never sneak again. So you're saying there's a chance. Nope. I've got to lose like a whole another eighty. They alternate between fat and this. <laughs> What's your secret? Tell me about your secret. The secret. There's, there's only one secret. Eat less, move more. 
story as old as time. Tale as old as time. Diet and exercise, yeah. See. <laughs> Beauty and Mike B. Think we're gonna be able to block or are they gonna give a float? And for gaining weight, lots of Taco Bell. That's a solid strategy. That's interesting. I don't feel like Taco Bell is that fattening. Yeah, well, it depends on what you get. If you get the cheesy gorditas, you know, once you start getting into the cheesy tortarias. Tortarias? <laughs> that was not on purpose, but it, it would be super cool if it was. <laughs> this mess up brought to you by Teeter Tatters. Also, like Crunch Wrap Supreme, those things are so bad for you. Well, anything that's fried is going to be obviously worse for you, but I don't really get a ton of fried stuff. What is this? What is happening right now? This was very good against my seven mana card. If you, you know what you're picking a T-Bell, though, it can be actually surprisingly decent for you. Yeah, I actually haven't, like, I feel like what I get is, I get, like, a cheesy bean and rice burrito, yeah, um, a small nachos bel grande, and usually that's pretty much all I can eat. I usually just stick to tacos, because... They have three minutes, and I guess we have one more game after this, so I'm pretty sure we can win. Unless they're, like, super, like, start playing super, maybe they're sobering up, and they're going to play super fast. Because that's happened before, where I get really... Done, buddy. He's, He's sober, sober enough. enough. Yeah. I can eat six donuts in one sittings. In one, one sittings? sittings. <laughs> Kurt, I hate to tell you, but those are rookie numbers. He's much smaller than you. That's fair. I often forget that. Just about people in general, you know? I can crush a donut box, like a whole, a whole dozen, like it's nothing. Gone. Congratulations, Michael. I don't do it, but I definitely can. And sometimes do still. <laughs> Unless we're talking all maple bars. Those things are thick. Or chocolate. Whatever kind of bars you want. You know? Is this when he leaves? When it, or or yeah, dies? No, it's when he dies. If he enters, oh, he has to actually die so you can exile him. Yes, Michael. And if he dies, he dies. <laughs> oh, but they do have sneak attack. So that's not really good, I guess. I'd say it's quite, quite bad. bad. Wait, Wait, can't you, you just take, take the, the animate dead, dead off and he has to... Oh, then it dies, dies still. Damn it. The, then wouldn't he just replay the animate dead and get it back again? Actually, that's, that's the, the worst thing you could do, do, I think. For the record. Tell us all this time. I think my favorite item is still the chalupa. Wait, but one, two, three, four, five, spicy six. ranch instead of sour cream. What did you just do with your hand? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, good. Manager again. God. The tale of ne the never don't have it. You might say it's all this time. Might as well play this little, little banana. What's banana, banana about it? There's, There's some there. yellow in there. There's some yellow in there? Yeah, you said it was a banana, so I was trying to see how it was a banana. I guess that is. Like, I was trying to give you some credit, you know. I appreciate it, man. That's so nice of you. I'm taking it away. Why? Because you're a little bee snatch? Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Also looking forward to uh, playing Kaito, discarding Archon, and shallow graving it. And I'm, I'm, not sure, six, but I'm not in the middle of a sentence. That's good. Right. <laughs> I'm just in the middle of talking. No big deal. Look, they forgot that uh, Putrid Imp has... Does not have flying, because everyone because everyone does. Kurt, are these ones. Well, well, you're definitely thinner. Than one, one of them. Yeah, they're, they're just fine. Uh, let's draw a card. No. You got it. You know what you say. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a that's a classic. Kerwin Wally hanging out. K I S S I N G. Doggy Blitz. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're gonna get rid of that guy? That's fine. I went I went up to five. Maybe we just don't lose this game. How about that? Spellbreaker Glenn. I mean, who knows if that's what's gonna happen, but this guy, might as well cast this with this guy. Might as well. Yeah, might as well. As we say in the magic world, might as well. 
Oh, from whom? Oh, the old Dan Snacks. Dan Snacks was is my buddy from Game Informer, who is now currently a Bandai. He's yeah, he's a good dude. What up? I'd always be like, "Hey Dan, do you guys have any openings?" And he'd be like, "Oh, we just filled them." And I'd be like, "Oh no." Yeah, can you get a respawn? Uh, yes, I don't think I think I think he'll let me know. Dan's Dan Dan'll let me know if there's any if there's anything's going on. Give my boy a job. That's <laughs> all I want, man. I just, I just want to work. That's all. You dropped your jog. Yeah. Your job struggle has been quite the journey over the last 10 years or so. Yeah, it's been something. It's been a roller coaster. <laughs> so what do I do? How do I deal with this guy, you think? What's the... Do we just draw a card here, maybe? Mayhaps? Let's do it. You know, let's get it from that Exiles. There's really not a great way to deal with that guy. I guess I'd settle for killing it for now. Well, I can't, I can't do that, so I guess we're just chum blocking forever. I'm going to get rid of reanimate, because really, like... Chum blocking forever? The best strategy. Well, they have a minute and 41 seconds on the clock, so really... Oh, I didn't know that. We don't have to chum block that that long, you know? If they're smart, they'll just keep crashing into you and doing nothing else. Like Dave Matthews Band? That guy, that guy could crash. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Crash in your heart. Oh, Dan just sent me a promising message, so that's cool. I like promising messages. Dan sent me a link, and I will definitely look at that link when, when I get the chance. Appreciate you, buddy. Are you kidding me? I guess okay. after it resolves, you can... Oh, wait. Place your triggered here. abilities on the stack. Yeah, that guy, sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put your little daddy onto the board. Discard card? Well, it's all gotten shuffled, so I might as well get the counter out of it. Come on, instance. Make mint, nothing, nothing. Literally Vendillion Click, which costs three mana. You're killing that. But if you kill this, you win the game. Here goes Punk Boy RD, I got it. Well, that's not. But maybe they just kill this too. And then we go to, okay. Well, I'm, I mean, you know, we're in, we're in the awkward situation of taking advantage of the time here, so... Yep, that guy is pieced out and attack Kaito for the lulls. Hey, I will tell you that I've definitely been wider and you're not doing that bad. <laughs> definitely been wider. Yeah. Nothing nothing comes in, right? You get a goat with that guy. That guy makes What's a goat. Shirt? What's on your shirt? That's actually not terrible, right? What's on your shirt? Tell me about your shirt. Oh, that's a little anime shirt. I can vibe with an anime shirt. <laughs> 445 lebs of sexy. Indeed, my friend. Did you say lebs? Well, yes, because you didn't put pounds, you put lebs. But people, but it's... I like it, okay? I don't know why. Who pounds? I don't know why I do it. It's just... I can't change anything. So do you, say, do you say I have 12 Oz of soda? That was a good show. It needs one tisp. Oh, we just won the game. That's great. One, two, did it. Tisp or one tibs. Not the most satisfying victory, but you know what? When you're 2 I'll take it. Be sure to sign up for HelloFresh. It's a great way to support the channel. You guys know what to do. Slam the like buttons, the subscribe buttons, do those things. I'll see you next time, guys.